Let's say you recorded a video and left a few seconds at the beginning to capture the ambient sound or you were slow in stopping the recording so now you've got this 4 second tail of silence that you want to get rid of. Well, Cloudinary's video transformation capabilities are your best friend in this case. In this tutorial we're going to see how we can use the video transformation functionalities to trim videos in our Node.js app. In order to trim the video, we need to define the start underscore offset and either end underscore offset if we know the specific second to which we want to trim or the duration if we just know the end length of the video. Then we're going to use the URL method to generate the URL that contains the trimming properties. As the first argument will provide the video we'd like to trim. We should know that we need to have the video uploaded into our Cloudinary Media Library before we use it. Then as the second argument, we'll provide a configuration object that has the resource underscore type and the transformation properties. The resource type tells Cloudinary what we'll be working with. So let's set that to video. The transformation property is an array of transformation objects that we'd like to apply to the video. Video trimming is a simple transformation. So we'll just need to provide one object that has our start date and either the end offset or duration, whichever we defined previously. And that's pretty much it. We can assign the result into a video URL constant and log it out. Let's run this and open the resulting URL in our browser. There we go. If we change the start underscore offset, for example, we'll see that the video starts before the elephants get into frame. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. First, we imported v2 from the Cloudinary package and configured the cloud name. We defined the start underscore offset and underscore offset and duration variables. Then we use the URL method and pass the public ID of the video we'd like to be trimming as the first argument. As a second argument, we provided an object that had the resource underscore type property that told Cloudinary what we're working with. Then we provided a transformation array with just a single object that contained our start offset and end offset constants. This generated a transformed URL for us, which we logged out and opened in our browser to confirm that the video is indeed trimmed.